We are about to go in and I'm about to do some fighting with swords. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? I'm quite nervous. I need to find my inner aggression. I'm not a naturally very aggressive person. I hope, maybe. Who knows, maybe I am. Maybe I'll find out that I'm actually really aggressive. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm Janet, nice to meet you. This is Bones. Hello, nice to meet you. You must be told. Very nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, yeah, nice, nice to meet you. To meet you. Um, my name is Janet Lawson, and I am a certified teacher with the British Academy of Stage and Screen Combat. I'm its president. I teach actors how to sort of fight and be teachers. And what are we going to be doing with Beth today? We are going to be teaching her how to use a broadsword. Yes. That's what we're going to be playing with. <laughs> uh, 10th century to 16th century, this was the go-to weapon in mm -hmm. Europe. Long, flat blade. And if you drew a picture of a sword, somebody said draw a sword, that's probably yeah. what you would cover. You have a sharp point. Both of these edges would be sharp as well. Yeah. So you can use it for thrusting, you can use it for cutting. You can use it as slashing. Yeah. Okay. You've got this cross guard here, mm -hmm. which is basically to protect the hand. Yeah. But what you can also do is turn it backwards and you can use it like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it looks really simple, but it's actually a Swiss Army. What's your favourite thing about using boards? It's not particularly complicated as a weapon. There's not lots of twiddly stuff but it has that wonderful, visceral feeling of, you know, calming somebody up. How do you hold it? Yeah. Dominant hand here, mm -hmm. up right next to the cross guard. I mean, this wants to be in line with your forearm. Okay, so it's not like that, okay? Yeah. And let the hand be quite relaxed. You can feel it sinking down into your hand. Okay. All right? This hand goes here, right by the pommel. This is a lever. I see. This helps you to maneuver it. So just try going from side to side. And then if you take it out as well, get out of course. If you hold it out straight, just mm -hmm. straight out. Let's have a little go with moving our right. arms. So, so all I want you to do is just walk around the room. Okay, okay. So just a normal walk. And just have your feet a little wider than normal. Nothing particularly difficult. Boxers have a fighting weight. Yeah. Fighters have a fighting height. Okay. So that three inches long, bend your knees. Now go for a walk. Okay. And I just want you to relax. You don't die. How? Letting the pelvis move, not just coming from the hips. So like a whole. Yeah. Start incorporating that into your walk. Okay. Keep your head up. Yeah. Do I not sleep too much forward? Keep your body going to sit on your shelf and pony. See? Yeah. See how much more distance you cover. Yes. We're in the walk territory. Yeah. Don't think I'm scared of you. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'm going to stake my hand out, and you're just going to touch the fingertips with me. And all I'm going to do is just keep the fingertips touching. Yeah. 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 yeah keep going. Somebody punches you. Yeah. And you all your and if I'm punching you and I want that set of effort. I breathe in, I wind up. There's intention to kill. Come on, don't get me. Good. That feels much better. Does it feel more solid? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to establish eye contact with each other. I'm going to make eye contact with you, and I'm going to look at your left side chest, mm -hmm. and I'm going to extend my sword towards you. Yeah, that's an option. What's a better option? Yes. Don't be there. Yeah. This again here is going to be the leverage. And I don't want you to do any kind of footwork, but I just want you to extend your arm until you really can't straighten it anymore. Use the pommel to bring it around. 
and you finish with a straight line to help us draw a rainbow, the rainbow of death. So the point comes up all the way up here and all the way over to the other side. A few bits still at hand. Cut, rainbow of death. So I'm going to choose my target height. So about where we are, go all the I have a sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now see what's happening with your sword. Your sword is actually crossing into the line of your body. So that's where your sword needs to finish. So you're going to try. Okay. Okay, so you can just extend a little bit. Just watch that knee at the foot. Just make sure it's going straight. I just want to shoot my hand. Just the thing that keeps us there. That's okay. So make the cut. Make the cut. Pull, pull. I'm going to give you resistance, resistance. Oh, yes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a funky little move called a quasi. She's going to cut to here, she's going to cut to here, and then I want to get rid of her sword. Very wise to take a step back. So the motion that I'm going to do is going to be forwards and downwards. And it goes like this. Your job is to keep it nice and strong yeah. and take the movement into your shoulders when you get it. Okay? So, do you want to try it with me? About 45 degrees past me. It's allowing you to express loads and loads of emotions. It's hate and anger and love and, and rage and, and it's all these huge, big emotions. It allows you as a performer to, to dig so deep. I'm going to go to that arm there. She's then going to come to the top. I've got to bring my sword all the way down and all the way back to here. Okay. <laughs> you want to try? Watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun on this one and I thought it ended up pretty good. 
Um, big thanks to my patrons. If it wasn't for the patrons, these videos would not happen. Thank you once again. Thanks to Janet from Stage Fight Scotland and also to Bones for fighting me. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Do the goop a